Imagine a world where the skies aren't just ruled by two giants. For decades, Boeing and Airbus have been the untouchable kings of aviation. Their planes crisscrossing the globe, carrying millions of passengers from New York to Tokyo, London to Sydney. But what if I told you that a new player is stepping into the ring, ready to shake things up? Not from the US, not from Europe, but from China. This isn't just a new airplane, it's a bold, audacious challenge to the global aviation order. Buckle up, because we're diving into the story of the Comac CC929, China's new wide-body jet, and the engine that's powering its rise, the CJ100A. This is the tale of ambition, innovation, and a nation determined to soar on its own terms. Let's set the stage. Picture this. It's the early 2000s, and if you told the executives at Boeing or Airbus that China was about to build a jet to rival their best, they'd probably chuckle, maybe even roll their eyes. China, building world-class planes, come on fast forward to today, and nobody's laughing anymore. The Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, or COMAC, isn't just knocking on the door of the aviation industry, it's kicking it wide open. Founded in 2008 with billions in government, backing COMAC had one mission, break the Western stranglehold on commercial aviation and they're not messing around. China's not content with just making planes. They want planes that outshine, outpriced and outperform the competition. Let's rewind a bit to understand how we got here. Cormac's first swing at the market was the Arge to one a regional jet aimed at smaller players like Embraer and Bombardier. It sounded great on papers, leak, affordable, ready to take on short-haul routes, but the reality, it was a bumpy ride. Delays piled up. Technical glitches frustrated engineers, and certification issues kept it grounded longer than anyone wanted, when it finally took to the skies in 2008. It wasn't until nearly eight years later that it entered commercial service. Airlines, especially outside China, weren't biting. The ARJ21 was a learning curve, a hard one, but Comac wasn't about to give up. They went back to the drawing board, determined to aim higher, much higher. Dot, enter the C919, CUMA C's narrowbody jet. Designed to go head-to-head -head with the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320, this time China played it smart. They teamed up with Western suppliers for critical components, like the CFML EAP-1C engines, to ensure reliability. The result? A jet that could actually compete. By 2023, the C919 was in commercial service, racking up over 1,500 orders from Chinese airlines alone. It wasn't perfect some kinks needed ironing out, but it sent a clear message. China could build planes that rival the best, and now, they're raising the stakes even higher with the C929, a wide-body jet built to take on the big dogs, the Boeing 787 Dreamliner, and the Airbus A350. So, what makes the C929 such a big deal? Let's break it down. This isn't some small fry regional jet or a narrow body for short hops. The C929 is a twin-aisle long-haul beast, designed to fly 6,500 nautical miles think Beijing to Los Angeles or Shanghai to London. It's versatile seating anywhere from 250 to 350 passengers, depending on how airlines configure it. Want a high-density economy setup for budget carriers? Done. Prefer a luxurious premium layout for long-haul comfort? The C929 can do that too, but what really sets it apart is its price tag. Boeing and Airbus jets often cost upwards of $250, million a pop, the C929. It's rumored to be 20 to 30 percent cheaper, for airlines watching their bottom line, that's music to their ears. Now let's talk tech. The C929 isn't just a bargain bin knockoff. Commerce's engineers have gone ulin on fuel efficiency and passenger comfort. They've used advanced composite materials to shave off weight, cutting fuel costs for airlines. The aerodynamic design promises better mileage than older widebody jets, which is a massive deal when fuel prices are squeezing profit margins. Inside, passengers get a quieter, smoother ride thanks to improved cabin pressurization and noise reduction tech. Imagine boarding a long-haul flight and actually feeling refreshed when you land. That's the kind of experience Cormac is aiming for, but every big dream hits turbulence, and the C929's journey hasn't been smooth sailing. Originally, this plane was a joint venture with Russia called the CR929. The plan was for Comac and Russia's United Aircraft Corporation to team up, pooling resources and expertise. But geopolitics got in the way sanctions, tensions, you name it, Russia was pushed out, leaving China to go it alone. Some thought this would derail the project. Instead, it became a blessing in disguise. China now owns the C929 outright, including all its key technologies. No more splitting the pie there, baking it themselves, and the heart of this jet. The CJ100A engine. This is where things get really interesting. For years, China's aviation dreams were tethered to Western engines. The C919, for example, relies on the CFM leap one c a French-American powerhouse. But depending on foreign tech is a risky game, especially when trade wars and sanctions loom large. In 2020, the U.S. briefly considered banning Leap engine exports to China, sending shockwaves through COMAX plans. 
That was the wake-up call. If China wanted true independence in the skies, it needed its own engine. Enter the CJ-1000, built from the ground up by the Aero Engine Corporation of China. This isn't just any engine, it's a statement. The CJ-100A pumps out 30,000 to 31,000 pounds of thrust, enough to power medium-haul jets like the C919 and, potentially, the larger C929. It's packed with cutting-edge tech, titanium fan blades, state-of-the-art compressors and next-gen turbines that slash fuel consumption and emissions. On paper, it's on par with Western engines. China's pouring billions into testing and certification, with flight tests already underway. The goal, full certification by 2025, if they pull it off, it's a game-changer. No longer will China's planes be at the mercy of Western suppliers. Sanctions, trade wars, they won't ground China's ambitions anymore. Now, let's zoom out and look at the bigger picture. In 2024, at the Zhuhai Air Show, Air China made headlines by becoming the first buyer of the C929. This wasn't just a business deal, it was a power move. Air China, the country's flagship carrier, has long relied on Boeing 777s and Airbus A350s for its long-haul routes. By backing the C929, they're signaling to the world, China's ready to fly its own planes. This deal is a beacon for other Chinese airlines, and trust me, they'll follow. China's aviation market is exploding experts predict a demand for over 9,300 new aircraft by 2043. If Comac can deliver, the C929 could become the go-to widebody for Chinese carriers, phasing out older Western models. But Comac's not stopping at China. They're eyeing global markets Asia, Africa, the Middle East regions hungry for affordable, reliable planes. If Air China's rollout of the C929 goes smoothly, it could give foreign airlines the confidence to place orders. Imagine a budget carrier in Southeast Asia or a growing airline in Africa opting for the C929 over a pricier Boeing or Airbus jet. That's market share slipping away from the Western giants. China's already one of Boeing and Airbus's biggest markets. If Comac gains traction at home and abroad, it's not just a challenge, it's a seismic shift, of course. It's not all smooth skies ahead. Building a plane like the C929 is one thing. Delivering it at scale, getting it certified and earning global trust is another. Let's start with production. Boeing and Airbus churn out over 60 planes a month each, thanks to decades of fine-tuned supply chains. Comac, they're still ramping up. The C919 program already has a backlog of 1,500 orders, and they're struggling to keep up. Adding the C929 to the mix stretches their capacity even thinner. If they can't deliver planes on time, airlines might hesitate to bet on them. Then there's certification. The FAA and EASA, the US and European aviation regulators, set the gold standard for safety. Without their approval, the C929 is locked out of major Western markets. Certification isn't just technical, it's political. With US-China trade tensions simmering, regulators could drag their feet or raise extra hurdles, citing safety concerns. Geopolitics could also mess with Comac's supply chain. While the C929 is a Chinese project, it still uses some Western components, like avionics and composites. If sanctions tighten, Comac could face delays. Much like Russia's MC21 jet, which stalled when Western suppliers pulled out. And let's not forget trust. Airlines are risk-averse. They don't gamble on unproven planes, no matter how cheap. Boeing and Airbus have decades of flight data proving their jets are safe and reliable. Comac, they're the new kid on the block. The C929 will need years of flawless operations to win over international carriers, especially for long-haul routes where reliability is everything. Right now, Comac sees seen as a budget alternative, not an industry leader. Changing that perception will take time, so where does this leave us? The C929 and its CJ100A engine are China's bold bet to reshape aviation. They've got the tech, the funding, and the ambition to challenge Boeing and Airbus. If they can scale production, secure certifications, and build trust, the C929 could soar in markets worldwide. But the road ahead is turbulent geopolitical storms, supply chain risks, and the weight of proving themselves in a cutthroat industry. One thing's clear. China's not just building planes, they're building a new era in aviation. Will they dethrone the giants? Only time will tell. What do you think, Han Comac? Pull it off. Let's hear your thoughts, and stick around for more stories about the future of flight.